This is a simple uh, popper I use for guiding. Um, what I like to do is once I have the popper put onto the hook, I'll slide it back. I'll cover the hook shank with thread. The great thing about the double popper is you can get the kit in which it would uh, include the hook made for the right popper head. And the reason I cover the hook with thread is so when I super glue it, it's going to glue to the thread and just grab your favorite uh, super glue. This just happens to be Gorilla Glue. I just cover the thread with a little bit of a glue. Not too much. And I slide the head forward. Make sure it's level. And what I'll do is do probably a dozen or two dozen, and then all the popper heads are ready. And then I'll come in right behind the popper head, secure my thread. I will take my rubber legs. I use a lot of black and yellow rubber legs. And what I do is just fold it over the, the hook thread so they're even. Slide it to the top. And I'll give a couple wraps and I'll move it to the back side of the hook shank. Then I'll take this other one and pull it forward and secure that. And I'll give you a V with the legs. Then I'll do it, secure it really good. If they're not even, just trim them up a little bit. Then I'll take my marabou. This is chartreuse to match the chartreuse popper. And it's going to be about the hook length. And again, I'm going to secure it right in behind the popper head. Two or three nice tight wraps. I'm going to trim up the excess down tight. Oop, got them all there. I'll do a few wraps just to make a base for my hackle. I like to take a webby black hackle and I'll trim off some of the hackle feathers to give me a base to tie onto. And I uh, will secure it right where the marabou ends. Wind forward. Cover the, that uh, base, wind back to the popper head, move it to my right hand, and I'll do a, a wrap, and then I should be able to do two or three wraps. And I tie off a knot. I usually like to do two. In case I mess up on the first one. And I'll cut off the thread. And that's good to go the way it is right there. You can fish it. But I like with my poppers to have rubber legs. Because I like to dead drift them a lot. In the movement of the legs. So I just use a, a sewing needle. I do not heat the sewing needle. I learned the hard way that on the double barrel popper heads. It will not uh, close back up once it's hot. So I'll push it through to the eye of the needle. I will put my rubber legs through. And I will just pop it right through the other side. Make them even. Take the end of my scissors. Separate my legs. And the fly is good to go. I never put eyes on my poppers. Um, you can, but it's a very basic, simple popper, and that is ready to fish.